Hi there and welcome to Amp3 TV. Today we're going to take a look at another new player from iRiver, the Volcano. It really wasn't that long ago that MP3 players were huge brick-like things. Whereas now with iRiver we've moved on to the Volcano, which as you can see is tiny. The features it has, the price of it, so 4 gig on board flash memory, just shows you how far the market's come in the last few years. And thank goodness it has especially with prices for the old 64 megabit players just four years ago kind of running into hundreds of pounds. Now the, this player is probably slightly bigger actually than it looks in the photos um, but that's a pretty good thing as far as I'm concerned because it means the buttons aren't overly fiddly. Volcano is also really stylish. It does look very minimalist. The design's very easy to use. Actually the interface with the player is very easy to use. USB on this one it's simple as hitting the button it pops out you plug it in absolute doddle audio well it's an eye river not too much to say really it's an exceptional very crisp very bright sound compatibility is great with mp3 wma and asf in addition to that you've also got all vorbis compatibility the volcano also has an fm radio it's easy to use the quality is actually very good and it's a great feature to have on a little player you're going to carry around in your pocket now i river market the volcano is a, pl a secondary player for you because they really see it as being something you're just likely to carry about on yourself use it as a USB drive for studying for lectures it does have a voice recorder so you can use it for that in addition to that though it has an FM radio so if you do commute with it it's actually very very handy in conclusion the Volcano is a great little unit you'll be happily be able to rely on this device very easy to use with good function features easy to slip in your pocket and it's a very, very keen price. iRiver, as we say, see this as a secondary player for you. I think in all honesty, for anyone who wants a budget player or anyone that's a bit more price conscious on it, this is a great, great device with a lot of iRiver's features at superb price. So on to the scores. Value. Well, it should be no surprise to find that the Volcano erupts into value with eight out of 10. A lot of player for not a lot of cash, 4 gig memory, it scores strongly here. Features, 7 out of 10. Well, given the size of the player, it doesn't have a ex hugely expansive or groundbreaking feature set, but you wouldn't expect it to. Everything it does have though works very well. Design, 7 out of 10. It's clean, clear, attractive, a bit minimalist, works very well. Audio, 9 out of 10. Now, iRiver are famous for the sound quality. And that reputation is not under threat from this player. It's a great sounding little device. Construction, 8 out of 10. It's perhaps a little bit lightweight, but I think actually most users are going to like that. So it's hardly a drawback. Um, and it's, it's well put together. It's quite solid. You're not going to squash it. Overall, 7 out of 10. Now, perhaps the iRiver design declicks features and stuff. Some of the other players really what stops it scoring higher because... In some ways, I expect the iRivers players to be really kind of shock them styling wise and beautifully done. This, however, it should be remembered as their budget player. As a budget player, it performs very well. Price wise, they're right on the money again. It is a great little player. If you'd like to find out more information about the Volcano and its explosive video review, just check out www.amp3.co.uk. Thanks for watching the review. See you again soon.